Okay, we're here for Subaru edition. Uh, we're tra tra trading out those uh, control arms. Let's see if we can see how bad this rubber is. Uh, it's a little too dark. Can't see them grab my flashlight, maybe. Oh yeah. Okay, so you can see how, how all that rubber, everything's bad. I don't even have 45,000 miles on this. Uh, I did the other side already. So this is gonna be the driver's side. This is the old one I pulled off on the other side. And I mean, it just seems like that, I don't know, it just seems like that rubber should be last longer, but anyway, so you can kind of see all the stress. So there's the new one. Uh, they're not too terribly hard to install. Um, the hardest part is getting the, this line back up right down in here. Once you get that old one out and getting this one lined back in. Um, that's what I had a hard time on the other side. But I found out if I install this, you know, kind of push it up in there and just start this bolt before I get these other mounts you know like even remotely in then it goes in a lot easier so um, it's pretty straightforward there's other videos out there on how to change these with the torque specs and all that so I'm not gonna show you all that but I'm just trying to give you helpful hints and kind of show you um, you know what what it looks like you know out and everything and then these these just kind of bend out you know that there's a little swivel on the one so it's not it's actually not too terribly bad um, I put two jack stands just in case because you'll need a jack to lift up on this to set that you know that ball joint so but it's not bad but I just kind of want to show you what what it looks like so there's the the old one and the new one. Um, this one looks like, I don't know, the rubber just looks like it's a better quality. Cause you can kind of see like this one has like a full rubber gasket. This one kind of just, you know. So hopefully this will take care of my problem. So much, much better rubber. Hopefully it's, it'll last me another. 50,000 at least <laughs> So yeah, well anyway, we're gonna get this one replaced and uh, Chuck these Yeah, because there's no good um, And like I said you could buy the bushings have these pressed out and then press new ones in but it was cheaper to buy the whole new control arms and uh, If I got the link I'll, I'll post the link so You know if anybody wants to buy them all right well i'm gonna finish it and i uh, just want like i said quick share a quick little uh quick little video on what i'm doing thanks guys all right just to give you a quick show i haven't got no bolts in there or anything but what i did is i lined up <clears throat> i lined this up first okay and then I, as i'm holding right here you know, I'm holding holding this right here, and I'm just trying to put all the pressure on that. Then I start hammering with my mallet, my rubber mallet, in right there, and then on this, on this stud. So now that that's what makes this easy, because now all I have to do is put my jack underneath here, and it'll press it up in, and then I can put the bolt in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my bolt started right there, and then on the other side, get this pressed in. And then just get the, the bolts just hand tight, you know, and then I'll come back and torque them. So very easy to get in. I mean, it's, it's not too hard. You just have to wiggle it in and get it in. So, I mean, the other side took me about an hour and I'm on track to do this probably within 30 minutes now that I know what I'm doing. So. Anyway, but that's that's what will save you a lot of that time is getting this pushed in. So, 
All right. Okay. Let's see if I can let's see it down here. See how it's pressed in with my jack? Um, it has that little lip. I can see right up there. So all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take my rubber mallet, just bang right here. And that should bring it down. Yep, see, no more lip. All right, so then I'll put the hole, or put the bolt through there. That way it's in place. I'll just snug it down and then I'll torque it down to specs, but that's the hardest part of getting these in. And then when you jack up the, the um, um, when you jack up your wheel like this, don't forget to put in this part right here. You can start the bottom, but then put it through the top. And so don't forget that. Then you see, you can button that down right away. So that, that's the hardest part, believe it or not. Uh, at least this brand of control arms went in super nice so anyway then after this i'll have to go get an alignment but anyway all the hard parts done they wanted a thousand two hundred dollars to do this <laughs> dealership dealership is that what they call them dealerships so anyway yeah i'll just bolt in the uh tighten uh tighten uh the bolts up Put it all back together and uh, torque them to spec, and we'll go get an alignment, and they'll be done. So I just wanted to show you an easier way because I see the other YouTube videos of trying to get that that ball up in there. Way easier if you just, you know, try to do these. Just take your time. But yeah, just do that and just just give it a little smack on the top there with your mallet, and it'll go in. All right. Thanks, guys, for sticking with me. I know this isn't Corvette, but still mechanical stuff. All right. So I took it down the street. Drives just fine. Um, you know, when I step on the brake before, it would kind of give me a little shimmy. That's gone. So, you know, that's, that's a good thing. So we got that fixed. Like I said, I take it in tomorrow to get the computer module done. And then there's the Jaguar. Uh, the only thing I've had to ever do on that was the uh, uh, the brakes. And it's been, that's been a very, very good car. I've had no major issues, you know, knock on wood or metal, <laughs> whatever. So hopefully. Uh, yep. So anyway, that fixed that problem. And... Uh, you know, I need to I need to get back to working on this thing. I still gotta buff that out. I got God, I got a lot of things to do. It's just I finally got a Sunday to myself, and uh, now I'm tired because that that takes some torque <laughs> to to do those wheels. So, but we got them done. All right. Thanks again, guys.